there are many, many ways to calm ourselves, focus ourselves, ground ourselves, center ourselves, and empower ourselves. Many, many ways. Drumming is the, by far the best way. <laughs> but there are many great, great ways. As a percussionist, I'm here to serve the groove in two ways, both to be in service to the groove and to serve up the groove to other musicians, to dancers, to everybody who can hear and feel the music, to empower people with a foundation upon which they can ride as they power through life. Learn some traditional patterns, some traditional techniques that shows respect for the tradition, that honors the, the tradition, and it also grounds us in the tradition. And from there, we can build and learn new things and make up new stuff. to combine the two sounds and the two rhythmic principles we learned in the first two lessons. The sound of the tone on the pulse and the sound of the crisp bead sound on the upbeat. Tone and tone and tone and tone and. Now we're going to take it rhythmically even deeper. We're going to explore the way the quarter note pulse with the triplet feel contains and leads to the six against four feel. And a combination of those feels is found in a lot of rhythms around the world. One, triplet, two, triplet, three, triplet, four, triplet, one, triplet, two, triplet, three, triplet, four, triplet. So this pattern, back and forth, alternating leads between dominant, non-dominant, dominant, non-dominant, contains the six against the four feel. So we got the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the first thing I'm going to start with the Afushe Kabasa is the bead spin. Let me demonstrate it a few times, then we'll stop and break it down. Get that little 
pick up or just a clean beginning. One more. Okay, the way we do that, you hold the Afushé Kabasa with your dominant hand. You notice I'm holding it mostly with the, let the beads continue to spin. Then as they're still spinning, I come back down and I a shallow arc, stop my hand, let the beads spin. As they're still spinning, I come back down again and notice that I'm rotating my hand back in like that. So the palm starts to go out and the palm comes back. Relax, in. breathe. You start out to your dominant side and you go back and forth to what I call the wind and shield wiper movement for obvious reasons. One and two and I'll do 